A Minute of Reason with Andy Hoosier. Today, let's bring some reason into, well, some of the latest on the campaign trail, shall we? On both sides of the aisle. On the Republican side, President Donald Trump reported to have raised $46 million in the last quarter of 2019 in regards to fighting impeachment, which is the best that he's had so far going into an election, raising well over $100 million already just a year out before the election. And it typically takes about $100 million to run for president of the United States, and he's already hit that quota, and then some. On the Democrat side, we see Tulsi Gabbard going out and surfing in the middle of winter in New Hampshire, talking about if we could bring everybody out to surf, that would be awesome. Uh, Bernie Sanders, being the socialist fringe radical candidate still, is beginning to lead many of the national polls to run for president on the Democrat side. And Joe Biden seems to be going just a little bit desperate as he talks about new plans to pursue as president, including making all coal miners now coders and programmers in the computer industry. Now, there's a few little gaps that he's made on that one, obviously. One of them, of course, the racist attack, talking about that even black women from Michigan can code and program computers, which is a racist attack that Democrats will never understand or figure out because they are the racist, as they accuse Republicans of it left and right. But at the same time, how many blue-collar workers that work in factories or work in coal mines do you think would want to if be able to go out and become programmers? Or let's talk about the fields of work between the white-collar and the blue-collar jobs, where trade schools are on the rise. People are making more money going out and becoming plumbers and electricians and coal miners than they are actually sitting in an office becoming accountants and programmers. And if you have too many programmers, do you really think that's going to help society? But in typical Joe Biden fashion, it's another typical gaffe that he's made in a complete desperate state to try and win back into the polls and become Uncle Joe for everybody on the Democrat side. For more great tips and reasonable talk, visit HoosierReason.com.